as you can see, everybody is so excited for the opening of the Burgess Rural Living Center in Somerset County. And I am here reveling in the opening, talking with Clint. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thank you for being here. So Thank you present. for yeah. welcoming everybody to the center. Yes, this is a happy day. This it, is a happy day. It is a happy day. Now, what makes a collection like this so important to Somerset County? Wow. It, I think really primarily is it it kind of tells a very unique Somerset County story uh, and it was created by a very unique Somerset County man uh, in his life's work and it, and it tells the story basically of our county from the late 1800s to about pre-electricity so uh, and that's important right it's important to know where we came from so we know where we're going and, and, and I think especially in an increasingly modern world with you know constant communication and instant information at our fingertips I think being able to see it like this there's is really important you're absolutely right there's an appreciation of you know what our grandparents and parents and great-grandparents what they had to do to actually live what do you hope that visitors will get out of coming to the center uh, I want them to to not only appreciate the heritage that we have uh, here in the county, uh, but I want them to to feel as if this is a county on the move. You know that we're on a roll, and and we've we've been able to complete some very nice projects here lately, and and this is just the latest one with more to come. Come in, it's a self-guided tour, and it's been designed in such a way uh, by Dr. Yodel Bauer, who you'll meet in a minute, in such a way that it an individual can go and get the story uh, without a lot of hubbub and, and somebody telling them what to do. Yeah. I'm excited. Yes. Now we just had an opportunity to talk to Clint who welcomed us to the, rural, the Burgess Rural Living Center in Somerset County, but now we get to talk to the exhibit designer, Dr. Yodelbauer. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you very much. Good. Now, one of the challenges you said was fitting the spirit of how much this collection really was into this space. How did you work with that? Um, you know, at first you just had to identify what is interpretable. And so uh, taking a, a 55,000 square foot building stock full of stuff and, and really making sense of it so at the end of the day the patron really gets an idea of, of, of in situ how, this, how these items should look or how they would have looked. And so it's identifying what you can interpret and then, you know, building the interpretation around that. What are some of the pieces in this collection? Uh, so overall we have a wide variety of things. Um, we, we start here with our wheelwrights and blacksmith shop, um, which is, of course, the, they were they were very relatable industries. Um, so I've always been partial to the big yellow highwood welcome wagon. And, and again, I like land transportation. So um, we have every manner of, of thing that you may find in either of those two shops. Uh, uh, we also have some some more rare items. We have a, a, a bag stitcher, which would close the feed bags. And here is it's a local it's a local item overall. Uh, one of my favorites that I saw here was the the general store um, which also sort of has a, a special meaning as well here correct absolutely mr. Burgess himself was a, a proprietor of a general store and so we uh, not only did he have a a big collection of general store things which made the interpretation very easy we really <laughs> wanted to make sure that we we, we include this uh, n not only for an interpretive value but also because at the end of the day it's a tribute a tribute to mr. Burgess uh, well we've learned a little bit about the pieces here and I guess we're gonna take a moment to learn about the man Lawrence Burgess himself Tell me about your father a little bit, Star, and how he built this collection, when it started, and what he wanted for it. Well, my dad had a vision that he wanted the children of today to know how their ancestors lived a hundred years ago. He wanted them to know that their parents and grandparents didn't really have an easy time back there when there was no vehicles except uh, horse-drawn horse and buggies and carriages and no modern appliances, uh, no electricity, you know, kerosene lamps, oil lamps. And uh, so he started going to sales and collecting. And when he'd filled, out, filled up all the outbuildings around the house, uh, he converted his three-story chicken house into the Burgess Early Americana Museum. And he opened it to the public, and um, he loved taking uh, the children through the museum and explaining to them how things worked. Um, he had busloads of children from the local schools come through. He had tour buses uh, from Ocean City on the way to Smith Island come through every week. 
and he was in his glory, just t taking them around, showing them how everything worked. And this today is like the fulfillment of his dream and our family's dream with the Burgess Rural Living Center. Uh, it's, it's very, it's very heartwarming and overwhelming um, to see. It keeps them alive in a way. It, it's, it's just wonderful. Star, thank Good. you so much. Thank you and so you, much. you need any more information on the Burgess Rural Living Center of Somerset County, you can head to our website, delmarvalife.com.